I know, you're looking at that word and probably wondering how to pronounce it. The word is dodo, like the extinct bird. Now, Dodo is a Chinese company that just introduced its new mobile VR solution, the Dodo V1, which is touted as being the world's lightest portable immersive VR glasses. Funny thing though is that they also forgot to add in that it's probably one of the most expensive as well. The first thing to stand out with the V1 is its total resolution of 2400 by 1200 pixels, which delivers a pixel density of over 800 pixels per inch. Secondly, it also offers a wider 105 degree field of view, which is a bump over most other mobile VR headsets, but trails Samsung's new Gear VR by just only a little bit. And there's also a CPU listed in the specs, but in reality, it's part of this external device dubbed the D1, which is in the shape and size of a smartphone and essentially the brains behind delivering the VR experience. Now this is a conundrum because many of the stock images and renders of the V1 show it being used by itself. Instead, there's a wire coming off one side of the headset to connect to the D1. Aesthetically, the Dodo V1 reminds us of a knockoff pair of Oakley sunglasses. They're lightweight, we'll give it that, but it just feels brittle and cheap. And it doesn't help either that the wire coming out of its side is a distraction. We're constantly forced to press the sunglasses on our face because of it. We're also perturbed that its high resolution displays doesn't have any merit in our experience. They seem underpowered, so it makes the content appear darker. Secondly, the experience is exactly like any other mobile VR headset. So that means it's still a static experience. So there's no spatial tracking much like what we get with the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. And the worst part of it all is its price. It's $559. Honestly, you'd be a fool to even consider for a moment that it's worth picking up when it becomes available in the next few months. You'll probably end up slapping yourself and saying dough twice like Homer Simpson after you realize you're paying $560 for a glorified Google Cardboard alternative. I'm usually not too critical about a device when it's first announced, but after checking out the Dodo V1, I'm really disappointed right out of the gates about it. It's just so expensive doesn't really enhance or innovate in any way. So if you guys want to learn more about this device, you could check out our website, VR Source, your source for all kinds of reality.